<laughs> What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So today we're finally getting to it. That's right, you guys have been requesting us to talk about the top blender techniques. And you know what? We finally have time to sit down, take a hit and go through all of the submissions that you've been sending in. I am super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So if you guys are new here to the channel, we talk about all sorts of cool VFX, the magic of design, black pink videos, some tutorials. What are you talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so first up, we have a super dope Japan dynamic weather and lighting from Joe Su. Yo, this looks super sick. I'm just freaking blown away by all the detail that you put in this. I love the way that you have the emissive lights coming from those textures and it's just reflecting off of the ground there. Oh my goodness. And then the way that you're adding in these little ripples from the rain. Yo, do you guys see those? The little details, like those leaves flickering. Dude, this is looking super sick. Love it a lot. And I hope to see more Joe Su. All right, on to the next one Whoosh. okay so next up we have a really dope fake interior lighting from aminimisoui okay i'm sorry that i'm butchering your name but what i'm not sorry about is that we're talking about this crazy dope effect that you came up with now i've seen this done before from people where he's used all sorts of images and parallax effects in the node tree to create these faux 3d environments but this is just taking it to a whole nother level i can't even fathom how long this took you to set up but it looks super dope and i love it a lot yo okay i want you guys to check this really sick one out from crispy wave now this is a speeding cube loop, which I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's already looped three times by the time I've said this. So <laughs> this really sick ass explosion effect in this car chase. Yo, keep it up. Hope to see more. Okay, so next up, Ro Ardle brings us this hyper detailed render, which is so sick how he's able to zoom in on the ballpoint of this pen. Oh my goodness. Okay, so next up, we have this really dope Ghibli style test render from Mike Gatti. I really love the attention to detail that you put on this, even having the brown people on the train there man that, that's super sick now if you guys are interested in making your own ghibli style renders or even just doing 2d animation in blender you can check out grease pencil which has so many super useful features deo does uses grease pencil a lot and his work looks super super sick so ray venton brings us this really sick greek mythology animation which actually didn't make it into the top 100 renders from punisher but i thought it was super dope and definitely deserves to be here on this list next up we have this really sick fluid simulation that's done in Gary's mod but it's actually a mixture of Gary's mod and blender and I'm thinking that he's using those bullet holes there to track in that footage and get all these fluid simulations within the game engine so it looks super sick and I love it a lot five tick I'm pretty sure that might be pronounced stick actually okay so next up we have this really cool 3d Charizard card yo this is lit I love it a lot enchanted nft Yo, so this one comes from Joep Willemson, who actually is combining right now Embergen, Blender, and After Effects all together. Now, if you guys have never heard of Embergen before, it's a brand new software that we talk about. So if you guys are interested, check that video out. It looks like Joep saw that and was able to make this really cool Firefox effect. Here we have one from Baron Lantini. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but what I'm not sorry about is talking about how sick you made this render, just the data moshing, the super dope animation that you have and the fact that this loops is so so cool i love it a lot and i hope to see more all right on to the next one all right here we have one of my favorites last but not least it's an original game boy ad from sabrina garcia also known as sab 3d on instagram the attention to detail that you put in this is so nice and i love how you even got that metroid prime there animated on the game screen i do gotta say though this looks really grimy all those textures and details that you put in these game boys look like they actually are about like 20 30 years old which is super cool that you're able to get that much detail in your renders definitely love the way that you're playing around with the camera and the animation animations and really showcasing just how far blender can go in terms of making something look like a commercial work i love it a lot sap 3d and i hope to see more so that's it for the list don't let the fun stop here if you guys want to check us out on the road why not follow us on instagram so you can check out all the super dope behind the scenes some of the dope techniques that didn't make it to this video we got a whole lot more i want to thank you guys for watching and as always i hope to catch you on the next one peace